Hey guys, Colin from the Dynamic Beaver. I'm just hanging out over in the Beaver Builder forums here and noticed a post from Alfonso. And he says, hello friends, how can I add a buy now button like the one you're using in your site? Thanks. So you see the buy now button up here. This is what uh, Alfonso is talking about. And he wants to know how we can add it to his menu in the Beaver Builder theme. So I thought I'd record a quick video and here I am. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's only going to take a few minutes. So uh, hang in there and you'll be able to add that button in no time. OK, so I'm going to head over to the uh, demo area, my dashboard. I'm going to click on appearance and then theme settings. I've already uh, prepared some code for you. So all you're going to have to do is go down to the code area, click on code. You might have some code in here already, but uh, just click down below or whatever code you might have. If you don't have any, you're going to see exactly what I'm seeing right now. And I'm going to uh, just paste the code that I provided you and just paste that in and save the settings. So that's our that's our code put into our custom CSS. And if we go to our front page, you'll notice that it doesn't actually make any difference right now because it's just sitting there and doing nothing. So let's go over to our menus now. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm going to create a menu item. Let's, let's just uh, make, create a dummy item here in, under links. And I'm going to put an anchor in there. And we're going to call this, well, let's just call it the same as what um, Beaver Builder have on their site and call it by now. I'm going to add that to the menu. I'm just going to move that up into the middle somewhere. OK. So, OK, so we're going to save that as it is right now. If we head over to our front page again and refresh that, you'll notice that we've got our by now but it's exactly the same as the rest of the menu. We don't have that fancy kind of coloring or button around it. So what I'm going to do is going to go back here and show you how we do that. Go back to menus. That's where we are right now. Now there's a little trick. We need to add a little bit of custom code um, or a class or a call to that class in the C CSS. And there's nowhere to actually put it in here. So there's nowhere I could say custom class or anything like that. But there actually is. It's just hidden. If we go up to the right here and click on screen options, and we click on CSS classes and check that box. You notice that it now drops in a box that wasn't there before. And all we need to type in here is nav dash CTA. OK, we're going to save that. And you can do it for any of those menu items. That box is there now because we've 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 illustrated or checked it up in the uh, screen options there. But if we go back to our front page now and click on F5 refresh, will notice that our button's there. Now, this is obviously the default stylings that come with Beaver Builder's theme. But if you want to change the colors of this, uh, you can actually go into the code. So we're going to go to theme settings, code. And the bits you need to play with are the background color. So for example, I'm going to change this. It's, it's already an orange color, but I'm going to change it to an even brighter orange by going F26522. OK. And the border I'm going to leave the same. But the color, I'm going to say, let's go with black, for example. OK, and I'm going to save those settings. Now, if I go to my front page and refresh that, you'll notice that the button's going to get to be, be a bit more orange. OK, and the text to change to black. So it's just a matter of messing around with those colors. So the background color is actually the button color. The border color is that there's a one pixel border all the way around the button. OK, uh, the margin, you might need to play with that just to push it down a little bit and line it up with the rest of your menu. I found that eight pixels was about right. The color is obviously the text color. And I'm just going to put white back in there because the white looked much better. And padding is the size of your button. This is actually going to increase or decrease the size of the button. And text shadow is a little bit of a shadow on that white text we had up there. The box shadow is a little bit of shadow on the button. If you want a flat finish, you just eliminate that line. OK. And the border radius is the actual corners where we've got a little bit of a rounding over. So if I'm going to save that settings, I'll go back and look at that front page again. I'm going to have that really bright orange, but I'm going to have white text now. And as you can see, there we go. And the last thing in the settings there was the uh, hover effect. If you want to change the hover color cover, so let's just say we want to go to, I don't know, pick a random color. Let's do it the same color as what the border color is. So C58323. Uh, there we go. I'm just going to save that now. And you'll notice that if we go over there and press F5 to refresh, and hover over now. There you go. It's gone to a brown color. So that's how it is. It's pretty easy. You've got the custom code in, in below this video and just paste it in. Ch check that setting for CSS classes in the menus and you're off to the races. I hope you had fun. If you want more tips like this, please visit the dynamicbeaver.com. Thank you. Bye.